Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, today we have a quick look into the Bitcoin price action because nothing much is going on. Then of course we're also going to have a look into Ethereum and just a quick overall look into the traditional markets. So this is going to be a very quick video my friends because currently nothing much is happening but we're going to analyze uh, uh, my targets for this coming up week. So this video is brought to you by the MCS exchange here you can trade all the cryptos that you want up to 100x leverage and if you sign up with the link in the video description you can get $55 in trading bonus. So Bitcoin currently is still ranging here at around $39,000 as long as we are not having those uh, breakouts to the downside so below $38,000 so we have to keep the 4 hour closes above $38,000 I'm still gonna remain with the opinion that we could get at any time a nice breather and a nice bounce the upside since after this huge correction we are quite oversold and if here we could get a little breather then watch out of course for the top of the Keltner channels here at around $41,800 this is also matching with the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement at the moment and also here the median line of the Keltner channels at around $40,300 if Bitcoin is able again to push above the top of the Keltner channels in the four hour time frame so we need four hour closes above $42,000 then this could lead into a nice run up towards the resistance again here at around $44,500. Of course we still have that bearish retracement level here at around $42,600 but I told you that here in the daily time frame we are potentially forming this ascending triangle. So you see this uh, green trend line which is support currently here at around $38,000 that's why very important no four hour and daily closes below of it and of course the resistance up here at around $44,500. You can see that this is also more or less a matching with the Keltner channels we have the resistance up here and the support down here so as soon as we have a daily close above or below support or resistance this in my opinion will lead then into that direction where Bitcoin is heading to next to the downside targets towards $20,000 to the upside targets towards $50 to $60,000. And if we're going to have a breakout to the upside, the target is $56,000, which is also matching this previous support trend line, which now is acting as a potential new resistance. And this is also matching with the top of the Keltner channels here on the weekly time frame. So the target out of this ascending triangle would be up here at around $55,000 to $56,000. If we are able to push higher, then in my opinion, we are going to see those moon boy targets towards $100,000 to $200,000 per Bitcoin. But until then, we could get here somewhere a lower high and continue continue the bear market or downtrend. So I think that the rally is in the cards since in the weekly time frame we are very oversold and we got already two buy signals so I think that $55,000 is a realistic target if here finally we are starting another uh, uptrend. But as I told you my friends currently the global situation is very bad and sad and that's why those uh, news currently are affecting the price a lot not here uh, only in the crypto market but also in the stock market. And if we have a look here into Ethereum, exactly the same chart, also here in the weekly time frame, very oversold. If we're getting here a nice uh, rally, then watch out first here for the main resistance at around $3,500, where we also have this previous support, which now is new resistance. And here we also have the 20 weekly moving average and the top of the Keltner channels is at this resistance from the all time high tops here at around $4,400. If Bitcoin is reaching 55k, I think that here Ethereum could reach again easily $4,400. And if we are breaking above, then of course new all time highs will come. And uh, for this week, I'm expecting the stock market to continue to push uh, down because uh, here Nasdaq, for example, is still getting rejected by the median line of the Keltner channels in the daily time frame. So here I think we are going to see a bearish week. It doesn't mean that we have to see a huge crash or something like that, but I think that the trading range will be here between uh, the bottom of the Keltner channels at around $13,300 and the median line at around $14,200. I don't expect here anytime soon a breakout to the upside unless we are getting some positive uh, uh, news and then of course things can change very very uh, quickly here but uh, basically right now this is the trading zone so I'm bearish here for Nasdaq and of course bullish for the DXY because currently the DXY is breaking above the top of the Kelton channels such breakouts usually leads into continuation to the upside so I'm still very bullish here for the DXY especially as long as we have such a bad um, global situation right now. 
So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like this content, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos. Don't forget to follow me in my other social media platforms like Discord, for example. All the links are in the video description. So thank you again very much for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.